Well, I'm back with you talking about the same subject, a few steps to grow us as teachers. In our verse that we're considering, it says in 1 Timothy 4, 15, meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all, that thy profiting may appear to all. In other words, I can get better and I can do a better job. I can do a little bit better than I did yesterday, and so I want to work on it. So if you're going to be a good Sunday school teacher, make sure the truth of the passage, the point God is making is working in your life before you teach it. So you see the goal of a teacher is not to teach, but to be taught first. Uh, does this truth work in my life? Does it consume me? We're not mere mouthpieces. We have met with God. We have taken the scriptures. We've opened the scriptures. We have learned the scriptures. We have applied them in our lives and they're real to us. And so now we share these same truths with other people so that they can grow from that. So I want to challenge you to think on that a little bit. Let the word work in you first. The second thing I want to challenge you to do is to pray over your passage. Pray over your passage. Pray for God to use it in the life of your students, first in your life, then in the life of your students. And, and while you're praying, you won't be saying, this is what the scripture says. These are my students. I know them. I love them. I know what their needs are. This will work in their life. And so you want to take it and take it seriously. And so you're praying over that. You're working on it so that it will make a difference in their lives. Now, you want to learn all you can about the passage. <clears throat> Read it till you almost have it memorized during the week. And then find the truths in that passage and, 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 and learn them. Uh, you know, you want to you want to know how this truth can affect the lives of your students. The first way to know that is to know how it affects your life. So you let God work in your life through your passage of scripture that you're teaching this week for his honor and his glory.